pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. One morning, Lewis drove his guests to the Chobe River, hoping to see elephants cross. On the way, they saw zebras, giraffes, meerkats and elephants. Following the course of the magnificent river, they parked at the perfect spot and waited for the big herds to arrive. And then suddenly, they were interrupted by the spine-chilling howl of a hyena. The hyena sprinted past their vehicle. It was focused on something. In the mud was a fully grown hippo, motionless. She had just given birth. In a flash, the hyena descended on the helpless baby and snatched it with its great jaws. The guests cried, no! And then, out of nowhere, they heard the angry trumpet of an elephant. They looked up and saw a large matriarch with a baby. She started running, unleashing a ferocious trumpet. And with her ears pinned back and her trunk high in the air, she charged straight at the hyena. The terrified hyena dropped the baby and, in its panic to escape, drove through the hooked thorns of a woolly caper bush. The mother hippo rushed to her calf's side. Luckily, he was only missing an ear. After a brief reunion, the mother hippo and the elephant faced each other and stared deep into each other's eyes. What were they thinking? The mother elephant seemed to say, Hamba kakutle, or stay well. Lewis returned to the same spot many months later and saw a mother hippo and a youngster with no right ear. Today's compassion story is based on a true story about Dr. Howard Kelly. He was the founding physician of Johns Hopkins Hospital. This is called A Glass of Milk. A poor boy who was selling goods door to door to pay his way through school found he had only one thin dime left. And he was hungry. He decided he would ask for a meal at the next house. However, he lost his nerve when the lovely young woman opened the door. Instead of a meal, he asked for a drink of water. She thought he looked hungry, so she brought him a large glass of milk. He drank it slowly and then asked, how much do I owe you? You don't owe me anything, she replied. My mother taught us never to accept pay for a kindness. He said, then I thank you from the bottom of my heart and he meant it. Years later, that young woman became critically ill. The local doctors were baffled. They finally sent her to the big city where they called in specialists to study her rare disease. Dr. Howard Kelly was called in for the consultation. When he heard the name of the town she came from, a strange light filled his eyes. 
Immediately, he rose and went down the hall of the hospital to her room. Dressed in his doctor's gown, he went in to see her. He recognized her at once. He went back to the consultation room, determined to do his best to save her life. From that day, he gave special attention to this case. And after a long struggle, the battle was won. Dr. Kelly requested the business office to pass the final bill to him for approval. He looked at it, then wrote something on the edge of the bill, and they sent it to her room. When she got the bill, she was afraid to open it because she was sure it would take the rest of her life to pay this off. Finally, she looked, and something caught her attention on the side of the bill. And she read the words, paid in full with one glass of milk. See, that little boy grew up and remembered the kindness. You never know what's going to come of any kindnesses that you do. Make yourself comfortable in your seat and close your eyes. Take in a deep breath and as you breathe out, feel your body begin to relax. Please breathe in and out through your nose, if at all possible. With every breath, you are feeling more and more relaxed. Take in one more full deep breath and let your shoulders drop. Let your face relax, your teeth part, and feel more and more at ease. Now, I am inviting you to listen to the sound of the tick, tick of the metronome. With every tick, 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 you are becoming more and more relaxed. Let your mind just drift on the sound of tick, tick, tick. Feel your mind become clear and free and light as you just listen to the tick, tick, tick of the metronome. Just let go. Enjoy the sound. Clear your mind of all thoughts and just listen. Just listen. Relax and let go and be clear, light and free. Now when you are ready, take in a deep breath and as you breathe out, have a gentle stretch. Whatever feels comfortable for you right now. You are feeling confident, energized, light and free, deeply relaxed and ready to enjoy a wonderful day. <laughs> 